through the years, Ankersrum Industries has set the standard in good Swedish design. The kitchen appliance assistant has been around since the 1940s and has contributed to the success of many home and professional kitchens over the generations. It is a tool that truly lives up to the name assistant. The wide selection of accessories makes assistant multifaceted, making an enjoyable and creative experience for the cook. We will now take you on a journey through the world of cooking with assistant, showing you how it works and how you can get the best out of assistant. Welcome to the very best of Swedish design. In some chapters, you will see the symbol of the grinder. That tells you that for those certain steps, you should use the grinder attachment. To get you started right with your assistant, we have an excellent basic model. With this, you can make all kinds of dough and cake batters, whip cream and egg whites, make sauces, mashed potatoes, and more. The basic model of Ankerschroom Assistant includes the 7 liter stainless steel bowl, dough mixer, bowl scraper, spatula, yeast locked dough hook, and a dual whisk with a separate 3.5 liter bowl. We will now show you how to put together the assistant and how you can combine the different tools in the basic model. Attach the stainless bowl to the drive socket. Then put the bowl scraper in its holder. Loosen the lock by the upper arm joint and move the arm to the middle of the pan. Pull up the pin, place the dough mixer in the attachment point and push the pin down in order to lock the dough mixer to the arm. The arm can be locked in the desired position. To knead the dough, we recommend about two to four centimeters between the dough mixer and the bowl. The dough mixer can then move toward the middle of the bowl and the starting position. Your assistant should be on low or medium speed. Use the dough hook if you have a looser dough, like wheat dough. Attach the dough hook to the attachment point, then use the pin in the arm. Make sure it does not touch the bottom of the bowl, as that could damage the bowl. Adjust the dough hook in the arm holder with the screw top so that there are four to five millimeters from the hook to the deepest part of the bowl. You can let the arm work freely toward the middle of the bowl or lock it in the desired position for the best result. Your assistant should be on low or medium speed. Place the joint of the pin into the drive socket. Be sure it is securely attached. Place the bowl over the pin and push down while you simultaneously turn it until it has reached the bottom. The bowl should be fastened when the handle is facing the front panel. Start the machine on low speed and increase to the desired speed. Ankerschroom Assistant is the perfect complement in the kitchen. It can be added to throughout its lifetime. The advantage is that you can always build out your assistant according to all your needs throughout life.
Begin by placing the bowl of the citrus press on the machine and then place the fruit presser on the machine's drive socket. Lock it. Start your assistant on medium speed and start juicing your fruit until it fills a glass or pitcher that makes a tasty and nutritious addition to any breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or is simply a welcomed energy kick during the day. Set the machine on its side and remove the protective lid, instead placing that over the normal drive socket. Fasten the blender by turning it clockwise. You can alternate between two lids depending on how much you will mix. The smaller lid is used for mixing fresh herbs or nuts, for example. Pour in the ingredients you want to chop, blend or mince. In this case, we see a smoothie being made with fresh fruit and berries of the season. Add yogurt or ice cream. Use high speed on your assistant. Attach the grinder atop the drive socket. Tighten the wing nut and place the rollers so they run properly down the outlet. Attach the spatula. And then the cutting blade of your choice. And finally, the locking ring. Put the machine on its side and mount the feeding tray. You can grind all types of meat, fish, potatoes, nettles, spinach, oranges and more. Be sure that the ingredients have enough room in the measuring spout. Put the machine on medium speed. When you are grinding, use the measuring spout for refilling. Use nothing else as it could harm you or your assistant. To roughly clean the mill after using it, chop a little hard bread, hard biscuits, or onion so the mill will be easier to wash. In order to stuff sausage, you mix sausage mixture the same way you would grind meat or vegetables. Attach the sausage ring. Then the sausage stuffer. And finally, the locking screw. Put the machine on its side and begin making the sausages. Place the sausage casing on the funnel. Set the machine on low speed. Fill the mill with sausage mixture. Feed into the casing as the sausage is filled. If air gets into the sausage, simply stop the machine and push the air carefully out by the tracks on the sausage funnel.
The grinder and accompanying roller should be mounted on the machine's drive socket. Then, attach the liquidizer and be sure that the screw has gone all the way through the puree strainer and in the white ventilation track. Then, turn the screw. Turn the machine on its side and attach the liquidizer. Cut the fruit or vegetables into chunks. Apples should always be cored before being pureed. Use the dial to adjust the grade of puree. Loosen or tighten according to the texture you want. Set the machine on high speed. Use the splash guard if necessary. The pureer can be used to puree fruit, vegetables and berries. The grinder and accompanying roller should be mounted on the machine's drive socket. Attach the grating pin, then the grater, and finally the locking ring. Put the machine on its side and attach the feeder tray. Use only the spout to add ingredients. You can use the splash guard if you wish. The mincer can be used for nuts, hard biscuits, Parmesan cheese, carrots, potatoes, and much, much more. The grinder and accompanying roller should be mounted on the machine's drive socket. To control the roller, mount the sausage ring. Put the machine on its side and adjust the attachment so it is flat before you tighten the locking ring. The cookie press shall be placed with the handle turned outward. Mount the feeder tray. Set the machine on low speed. Use the spout when you feed in the dough. It makes it easier to squeeze the dough directly onto baking paper so that you can easily transfer your masterpiece to a baking platter. The grinder and accompanying roller should be mounted on the machine's drive socket. Attach the desired pasta disc and then the locking ring. Put the machine on its side and mount the feeder tray.
use only the spout when you add the dough. Use low speed. It will help if you place the pasta on a kitchen towel, as this will soak up extra moisture so the pasta dries more quickly. Begin by selecting the drum depending on what you will chop. The slicer can be used for potatoes, onions, root vegetables, fruit, and green vegetables. The medium drum chops root vegetables and other vegetables for raw foods, almonds, other nuts for baking, fruits, and cheese. The coarse drum can be used for root vegetables, fruits, and other vegetables for soups and quiches, almonds, other nuts, and block chocolate for garnish, as well as cheese and cheese chunks. Loosen the wing nut on the drum housing before you attach it to the drive socket. Assemble the housing on the machine and tighten the wing nut. Attach the desired drum. Be sure that the tracks on the drum fit properly in the drive socket. Otherwise, the drum will not rotate. Attach the locking ring by turning it to the left. Put the assistant on its side and let it run on medium speed. Other accessories available include three extra drums, a fine grating cylinder, a shredding cylinder, and a potato shredding drum in case you want to make potato pancakes. Be sure that the arm attachment is secure before you loosen the wing nut. Otherwise, the grinder attachment will not rotate. Put the machine on its side and attach the bolt. Turn the adjustment dial for coarse or fine grinds. Start the machine on medium speed. You can adjust both speed and grinding texture while the assistant is running. Loosen the wing nut somewhat Attach the grinder on the drive socket. Be sure that the pin is secure in the motor before you loosen the wing nut. Put the machine on its side and attach the grinder bolt. Now you can pour in the dry ingredients to mix your grains. Use medium speed on your assistant. <laughs> 